Hey everybody, it's Rosie here for Astrophotography. Today's Thursday, today is a 73% moon. This week has had a couple of clear nights for some places in England, which is kind of unheard of, but not for me, alas. Well, I had Friday, Tuesday, and now Thursday. But 73% moon, waning gibbous. So it's it's going. Either way, it's hydrogen alpha filter still, uh, season still. And with that said, I've been doing a project on the Heart Nebula so far. Trying out this 183 mono tech with the filter wheel. Recently, I filled the filter wheel up. It's now got five filters in it, one of which I'll talk about at a later date. I don't think I've formally introduced you yet to the latest addition to the astrophotography family. The Alta Hypercam 183 mono cord camera. I like the colour version so much that the 183M came on sale and I sold the colour to pay for the mono. And we've got a Zoe mini filter wheel here and I'm going to show you in that now. So what we have is a beta 7 nanometer hydrogen alpha, a beta 8.5 oxygen 3, a beta 8 nanometer sulfur 2, a beta 3.5 nanometer ultra narrowband hydrogen alpha, and the clear, which doesn't seem to be par focal with these at the minute. But I need to just check if something's, if I've installed it wrong or what. But I'm really enjoying it. I think it looks fantastic, <laughs> to be honest. I, if anything, I enjoy the way it looks, which is probably not a justifiable reason for spending that much money on a filter wheel. So just gonna put the back back onto it, or the front I guess. It is really nice build quality, the filter wheel. I'm just gonna screw it back in and put it back together. So I got about seven hours on the Sol Nebula at the moment. With the moon raising, I might try some S203 on the heart I sold tonight, or I might just go straight to another target and shoot hydrogen alpha on another target. I'm not too sure yet. If I do change target, I'm not even sure what I'm going to shoot. So I'll have to wait to see. I did find a couple of nice targets around. I might actually try to do the elephant trunk nebula again, because this is a wider telescope. So I may try that. But yeah, not too sure at the moment. Not too sure. I've been also working on some other content for the channel, which is some of it is recorded. I've got to edit it and then schedule it. And uh, what I've got coming, I think is, I'm quite excited about actually. Um, and I hope you enjoy it when I upload it. If you follow me on my socials on here somewhere, you'll know when it starts going live. But yeah, I gotta, gotta get that filmed and edited. And obviously just continue with the astrophotography as normal. I'm very much enjoying this mono camera at the moment, but I'm still not sure if I've completely shaken the bounds of color, color imaging yet. We'll have to see. It's beginning to get a bit dusky now, so I'm gonna get this going for its flat flame, flat flip, 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 flat flip, flat frames and then uh, probably some dark frames while I wait for it to go dark so, so I'll figure out what to shoot as we go along it's half past eight it's barely dark and I'm already imaging setup was quite easy today but we're going to see how everything goes I'm on the sole and they're below at the moment using the oxygen 3 filter. When you're trying to do a piece to camera and you forgot to hit the record button. Ha, 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 ha.
this is the third take. I'm not even going to lie to you. This is the third time I've tried to do this one bit. The joke has changed though because I got bored of my own joke. <laughs> I decided to start on the um, Heart Nebula in Oxygen 3 and I haven't got the stand for my light so I'm having to use my mobile phone. I'm doing an hour at the moment of Oxygen 3 while the moon is below the horizon and then as the moon begins to rise I'm going to swap over to Sulfur 2 and do another hour of Sulfur 2 and then when the moon is high I'll go back to Hydrogen Alpha. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to start compiling some form of image of the Sol Nebula uh, with all three channels by the end of tonight hopefully. I'm, I am enjoying mono but I'm not sure if I'm a full convert yet. I mean even though because the moon's up I'd be shooting Hydrogen Alpha anyway so that's not changing anything, but just knowing that uh, I won't even be able to just take one night during a different moon period and shoot colour and be done with it. So we'll have to see. I'm enjoying it though, and I have an extremely narrow band filter in there. Yeah. We'll have to see if I'm cut out to being a mono imager. I'll wait and see on that one, jury's out. So, I may not publish this video until I have a full image to show you. Uh, I might even just have bicolor, who knows at this point. But we'll have to see what goes. Got a PhD set up nicely. And it's going really comfortably. PhD is the guiding software that many people use is the guide camera and a guide cam uh, scope to feed information to the computer or to the camera which then corrects the mount. Really important for low end mass produced mounts like the HEQ5 and stuff because they suffer quite a lot of periodic error and the guiding not only is important anyway for long exposures to compensate for your polar alignment and stuff but it's just important for compensating for periodic error as well, so you can take really long sub exposures. Judging by how the image on my PhD screen is flashing, that tells me that there is clouds. So, I'll have to see what happens. I'm going to call this one here so I can leave this alone, so I can just concentrate on other things while it collects data. Thanks very much for watching. Hey, dogs. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a good day. Clear skies. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye bye. Your soul is mine.